Welcome to second blog on this new blog series, Building AI Agent Driven Solution to Support ERP and SaaS Applications. In our last video, we have seen a brief demo of the product and the business case we are building. If you haven't watched it yet, please take some time to watch that video and get familiarized yourself with the product we are building using AI Agents Framework. In today's blog, we are going to discuss solution design pattern and implementation approach to build this product. Please see, I will still not write any code yet, which we'll start writing in next video. This blog is entirely about solution design approach. The idea and the final product we are going to build is going to look like a chatbot interface like this. This is an AI agent interface where we implement AI agent framework. We will use AI agent studio and similar chatbot interfaces which user can consume directly. Using this interface, our AI agent chat will enable user to directly chat with PDF or any image they upload. This is what we are going to build. This snapshot shows the teams, agents, tools, and models behind our vision OAI OCR process. Agent Studio is a web-based interface offering easy to understand visual representation of our work and is simple to set up. We'll expand this framework to handle more complex ERP tasks later, such as processing invoices, matching them with uh, receipts and payments. So this foundation work we are building in this series is going to support many future sophisticated use cases. As we move forward, building a more advanced ERP solution, you will need to dive deeper using Autogen Agent and Autogen Core to leverage full event-driven programming and distribute AI workloads such as a multi-agent framework. But for now, since this app is very, very straightforward, we are just going to use Agent Studio and Agent Chat. So let's open our VS Code and look into solution design. Right now, this is our high level business process of the OCR application we are building. As soon as a file is dropped, this file can be a PDF, PNG, JF or JPEG or any image. As soon as this file is dropped to a directory, an AI agent process needs to kick in. So first we are going to try the PI PDF, followed by Tesseract and then followed by any vision AI model, one after another in sequential order until OCR quality engine does its job and able to read the file content. But once the file content is captured in forms or text, we need to upload this to a vector database as well as the into SQL database. So this is the simple solution we are building and this is an alternate representation of this one. So as you can see, we just like, you know, change the picture, but basically what we are trying to do as soon as the file is dropped, we are trying to, you know, read it, uh, the OCR engine through di three different packages and try once the data is read, we'll push the data into SQL DB. Now let's talk about the implementation approach. Here, first we need to divide the whole thing into three different tasks. So for example, first team, as you can see, it handles the file drop functionality. Second team does the OCR job and third theme does the SQL job. So what we are building, so we are building the whole thing in three different teams, which each team has their own assigned tasks. Now let's review this, you know, in diagram in detail. So first team, as you can see, the team is called team filer. Let's give it a name. Second team is a agent DB. You can call it a team DB, which handles the database related task. First team is again, is a filer. And third team is the OCR team. So we break the whole thing into different teams and then we define what each team does. As you can see, I have written the exhaustive description what this team does. So its primary job is to read the data. As soon as the file is dropped, you need to acknowledge that, hey, there has been file, there's a new file has been dropped. It could be a PDF, JF, PNG or JPEG file, but its entire job is to monitor the job. So as soon as the file is dropped, it needs to read the metadata. That means who has dropped it, what is the file size, what is the file owner. You might be thinking why it's a separate team. Because you know in real ERP world, you can have thousands and thousands of different different type of files. So that's why I kept it like, you know, you have to think from the long-term perspective. That's why I designed it as a new separate team. So now what this team will do? We'll create one agent for this team and this agent will have one tool. The tool's job is to read the metadata. So what is it we are doing? We will write a function which is a tool which reads the metadata. Similarly, OCR. So as you can see, what is OCR job? OCR job is to read the file content. And here there are three different tools. PyPDF, either you use PyPDF, which is a PDF file or Tesseract or LM Basel. So you have to, you know, you know, so again, let's go back to the picture. In team OCR had one tool, but team uh, sorry, team filer has one tool, but team OCR has three different tools. First tool is PyPDF, Tesseract, and Vision AI. Each tool has their own functionality, own different functions, but they all report to one single agent. And then one agent reports to one team. 
So one team can have multiple agents, but here it is very very simple. As you can see, there is one team. Similarly, let us review the last th uh, third one. So there is one team called database. So in database team, I have two uh, one agent and but two different tools because I want to use the SQL database and I want to uh, use the rack, uh, you know, uh, rack based or like the vector database. So similarly, let us recap. So we have three different team, team filer, team OCR, team DB. Okay. So three different teams and each team will have their own individual agents and each agents may have one or more than one tool. So agent DB has two tools. Team filer has one tool, one agent, and team OCR has one agent and three different tools. So that's the architecture we are going to build in this. This is a very, very simple version. That's all I wanted to achieve in this blog today. So as you saw, we in last video, we have seen the demo. In this video, we'll discuss the solution approach. And now following session, we are going to set up our environment and start writing code to build this AI agent framework. Uh, that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you and stay tuned.